What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Dragon's Dogma 2 guide. Today I'm going to walk you through the quest called A Case of Sculptor's Block and show you how to get the best ending. To begin, head to the Noble Quarter area of Vernworth and find the man named Clark nearby his home. He can sometimes wander along the road near his house and you're most likely to spot him during the day. Unfortunately, I do not have any footage of this very first interaction with him, but basically he's going to ask you to commission a sculptor named Fulvia, who is located in Batal. When you do catch up with Fulvio and Batal, he'll mention that the best way for him to sketch creatures is by petrifying them with a Medusa's head. I'll show you how to do that in a moment, but that's only one of the ways to complete this quest, and while it might be the easiest to execute, if you don't already have a port crystal set up outside of Medusa's lair, or you've never even been, it's going to be a bit out of the way for where you're going. Fulvio is going to ask you to meet him at a place that he picked out for his sketch, but before you go there, I would highly recommend changing your vocation to either Magic Archer or Warfarer. If you don't have these classes unlocked yet, I've got a guide in the description to help you do that. The reason we're switching to one of these two classes is so that we can get access to the Magic Archer's Sedative Bull weapon skill. If you don't see this available for you, you'll have to rank up Magic Archer at least once. This can be done by using a Magic Archer weapon on Warfare, or by just using the class itself. So Sedative Bull is going to allow us to put the Griffin to sleep, but if you don't want to use that, you can also use abilities that set enemies on fire. Using fire accomplishes a similar thing to sleep, the only difference is that you'll be slowly eating away at the Griffin's health while it's laying on the ground. I tried both, and personally I think the sleep is just the safer way to go here. When you get to Fulvio, you'll want to tell your pawns to wait near him so that they don't start attacking the griffin with you. If you're using the sedative bolt skill, you'll want to charge it up completely and then hit the griffin in the head. It can work by hitting other parts of the body, but it's going to be a lot more reliable at putting it to sleep by hitting it in the head. If it's been long enough, your pawns will start joining you in battle, so remember to tell them to wait again about every minute or so. You can get in a pretty good rhythm here by putting the griffin to sleep, and then once it stands back up, putting him to sleep again. If you plan on using the Medusa head instead, you should be aware that if multiple days pass, the preserved Medusa head that you're going to get is going to start to wither. After enough time, it will become completely decayed and can no longer be used to petrify an enemy. Because of this, I would make sure you have a fairy stone to teleport to a port crystal that you either placed in the checkpoint rest town or in Batal to quickly run to Fulvio's sketch bot. For the Medusa fight, you should bring the sedative bolt ability and either a pair of thief daggers or a thief as one of your pawns. I ran Warfare with both a magic archer bow and the thief weapon so that I could do the job myself and make sure it gets done right. Head to the area called Narabatal Windrift, which is southwest of Bakbatal. If you've chosen to bring a thief dagger for yourself, you can tell your pawns to just wait at the entrance. Either start charging up your sedative bolt while walking in, or run in and find cover first and then charge it up. Just like you'll do with the griffin, try aiming for its head. Even though it looks like the bolt should have hit a headshot, it took a few times for it to put the Medusa to sleep. When it does work and she falls to the ground, this is your cue to start slicing at her head with your thief weapon. Her head should come off pretty much immediately, and then you'll get an achievement called Off With Its Head. Make sure to fully loot her body to get a preserved Medusa head, a Medusan spell bow, and a Medusa bone. And now don't waste any time teleporting away after collecting these, because remember it will decay extremely quickly. Because I chose to use sleep on the griffin, I don't actually have any footage of me using the Medusa head on the griffin, but I do have some footage of me using it on a dragon that spawned in Vernworth. So to actually use it, you have to equip it, then you have to brandish it, which both of these things takes place in the inventory, and then hold it up for a few seconds until the enemy turns to stone. This is my first time using it, so I just kind of held it there for way longer than I needed to, but it should only take a few seconds. If you're using this on the griffin, make sure to spam the wait command for your pawns because you do not want them rushing in and breaking the petrified griffin with one hit. Eventually Fulvio is going to say something like, that ought to do it, I think I have enough. That's supposed to mean that you can move on to the next step. This happens at around the 3 to 3.5 minute mark, but from what I've heard, some people did not get the best ending by completing this step so soon, so I chose to stay and fight the griffin for longer. At around the 5 minute mark, Fulvio will say something like, didn't you hear me, I said I want to go back to sculpting. While this is probably a safe time to complete this step, I was extra cautious and chose to fight the griffin for an extra 10 minutes. I know it was pretty overkill, but I just wanted to make sure that nothing failed. I will say that if you want to be extra cautious, after you hear him say he's ready to leave for the first time, just try sticking around for another like 5 minutes. 
Apparently the griffin is supposed to fly away when Fulvio is done sketching, but that never happened in my game. Some people have said that by doing too much damage you can cause the griffin to fly away prematurely, which is why I would opt for putting it to sleep or petrifying it above anything else. If you've hung around for long enough, backed off, and the griffin is still not leaving, you will have to kill it to complete this step. You'll then want to see Fulvio in Bakvatal, where he'll tell you to meet him in Vernworth for the reveal of his sculpture. This is when you can head to Clark's estate, which is where the quest began, go up to the second floor, and witness the reveal of Fulvio's masterpiece. If everything went according to plan, when the sculpture is revealed you'll get an applause and receive praise from Kirk, in addition to 4500 XP and 14,000 gold. Hopefully everything works out alright for you guys, I heard this quest is a little buggy, and if you have any other tips for completing this quest for other people who might be trying it, go ahead and share those in the comments. If you appreciated this guide then please leave a like, and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 videos.